Hi everyone, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art for another Gemma series. Tonight we're going to learn about and create the colors of citrine. Let's get started. Christmas. Buddy, it's Lori Houston with Lori Houston Art. How are you tonight? I hope everybody is doing great. I'm working on a 10 by 20 canvas. I have some really yummy colors tonight. I'm in the mood for some yellow and uh, some peachy colors. So we are going to go with Arteza Dreamy Lemon Yellow. My paints are mixed with two and a half Floetrol to one part paint and a lot of water. The last bottle of Floetrol I got was just so thick. It was ridiculous. Um, this is some Soho Yellow that I've pre-mixed. I've got some Pebio Iridescent Orange Yellow. And you can see I put an FP on there for flower pop. So when I mix them, pre-mix them, I know that this is blow trial. I have, I am in love with primary elements. Um, this color art product, sunburst, yellow, it is so dreamy, all of them are. Look, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna put some porridge posse um, shimmering black, um, this is black shimmer in this so that I have some depth. I have a little bit of Pepio, it's an opaque paint here. I think it's a Naples yellow. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. I also have um, Enchanted by Deco Art. It's a gold, so I may use that as well. So this is Okay, it's Tuesday, Tuesday with all of our friends, starting with Holly from the Morning Pour at 6 p.m., then Joanne Ralston Art at 6.20, and I am now at 6.40. Nate Bright Art has decided to hop off the train for a while. Um, he is extremely busy. You know how the holidays are and all the collaborations and different trains, and he is involved with, um, I think, a gallery in his area as well. So we love you and we will miss you, Nate. Um, we'll see who we pick up on the train um, coming up here very soon. So I'm just going to lay the paints down on the canvas. And um, I am speeding it up a little bit. It's just the typical um, laying all the colors down. I'm going to swipe and... Um, in a moment, we're going to talk a little bit about the gem citrine. I want to thank the Moody artist. She had asked and recommended or requested the citrine, and um, it was actually on my list. I love this stone. It's beautiful. I didn't know a lot of history, so I'm excited to share that with you. So let's get started, and um, let's start the flowers. I will talk to you on and off throughout this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the chat. And if it's after the premiere, please leave them in the comments below. Subscribe, hit that bell. I love having all of you here and I'm so, so thankful. Let's get started. Look at that. Now, is that different or what? All right, what, am I, what are we swiping with? 
That's what I need to know. I don't want to do black. I think that'll be too much. Um, how about the, um, what about swiping with the uh, Enchanted? Let's try it. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do a thick line of Enchanted. Okay. And we're going to use a thicker paper towel. I'm going to use the shop towel. Um, I think this is one shop towel. Just these are from Lowe's or Home Depot. Blue towels. They're a little bit thicker. Um, thicker than paper towels and not as thick as plastic. Okay, here we go. Lay it in there. Make sure it sets a minute and let's pull very slow on this. Just keep it up. I'm just going to let it roll right off the edge. Perfect. That did well. So I, I, you all know that I love Puffy. And in the very beginning, I had my trusty um, straw that I use. Puffy's here. He's very used. <laughs> I ordered a second one because I'd almost lost him um, when I was put, putting all my puppy pads up. He was in there. Well, when I ordered my second one, this is a lot different. You can see it's a different um, thickness. This one's real bendable. This one's stiff. And it actually turned out great because then I just used this end to blow out a different type of flower. So I see some more bubbles. I'm just going to run it over here one more time. I do like this bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and start, and I think I'm going to do um, a big flower. Um, I love that corner. Let's do one here, and let's do a whole flower for a change. Here we go. Hmm, I love that. Here. Hmm, so pretty. I love how it uh, it just outlined itself in orange. I mean, in black. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, we need to decide now where we want to put the line. How do we want the stem to go in this one? Um, well, simple, Lori. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to bring this one all the way to the bottom as well. Love it. Okay. And we'll do one uh, here. And when I do, I can't use a wide straw for that. I don't like the way it looks. They are cute. All right, so I need to fix that petal right here. And 
There we go. All right. And now I need to bring the stem down. Again, simple. Oh, I love that. And hey, Lily Bell. Come up to see Mama. Yeah. I'm going to get a skewer and kind of work this a little bit. And here. And here. Oh, I love that. Good. Now let's check up here, make sure there's not anything that needs to be done. There we go. Probably need to follow that up. And this can come down. Okay. And this can be outlined. There we go. I love this. I'll be anxious to see with the primary elements how it dries. I'm so okay. So I decide to add a hummingbird, a black hummingbird. I'm using some medium gloss gel and I'm placing that on the canvas. And um, I don't think I'm going to paint the hummingbird. I think I'm going to use a little bit of black glitter just because it'll be less subtle up on the top of um, the flowers. So I'm going through and I realized that when this dried, I, I should have shown you a close up of the dried, the black um, stems really lost a lot of their distinction. So I am going to go over those stems with just, I'm going to follow the stem that's there. Maybe the flower on the right I am going to um, straighten up a little bit, but I am going to outline those stems. So I'm just going to um, sprinkle some black glitter over the hummingbird and let that set while I have decided to add a little bit of leaves on the bottom, and I am going to use the gloss gel and a stencil to do that as well. And I wanted to um, talk a little bit about um, the citrine. <clears throat> it is really a fascinating um, gemstone and um, it's it, it was a lot of fun doing the research on it. So the natural citrine, which can be found in Russia, is very rare. Most of the modern day citrine is heat treated amethyst or a smoky quartz and they come from Brazil. Um, due to its color, it sometimes gets confused with yellow topaz. So it's real important when you're looking for actual citrine that you recognize the different colors and, and what actually the citrine brings out. There's always a little bit of orange and smoky gold and there's a black in it, but it's really what you're seeing is that amethyst that has been heat treated that creates that deep dark black color that you see in it. Its name is derived from the Latin word citrina because of the yellow citrus color from the iron content. I thought that was just absolutely amazing information. And it's what I love about this stone is it's associated with positivity and optimism. My two favorite words in the world and I think it's a great, um, those two words are how we should live and handle every situation that comes up. So this is really an amazing gemstone. Um, you know, it's got a very cheery color. Um, you know, you don't see a lot of gemstones that are real bright yellow. Um, there are very few that are in this color category, but, um, you know, it's not surprising because it's it's just really, really vibrant and it makes you feel positive. Even when you smell citrus, you kind of feel uplifted. So anyway, I am going to um, fast forward and um, put on some musics and finish up the 
second part of the leaves. And like I said um, in the beginning, I showed you the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration. Cause Creation starts that this evening at 8 o'clock. And every night until Christmas Eve, there's 12 different artists that will be um, creating a great art piece celebrating whatever day they have um, been assigned. And I am doing Nine Ladies Dancing on the 21st. Don't miss it. I love my piece. I'm, I'm very pleased with the outcome, but um, just don't forget to watch tonight at 8 o'clock as well. Okay, so I am going to uh, see you at the end of this video, and um, I can't wait to see the end results of Citrine. See you there. Oh my goodness, look at the final dried results of Citrine. My husband varnished it for me, the colors pop. I couldn't be more pleased with this piece. I decided to leave the grass at the bottom very puffy and just made it look more like grass. I hope you love Citrine as much as I do. Thank you, thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you all three, starting with Tanzanite, that was my number one gem. Teal Sapphire was number two, and then Citrine was number three. I hope you saw Joanne Ralston before me, and Holly, if not, go check out their videos, and I look forward to seeing you tonight on Kathleen at Cos Creations channel for the 12 days of Christmas. Till next time.